things. One of the most amazing things about this legislation is we have no idea what the mandated benefits are going to be. Right. The, 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 we, have, we have priced out with some sort of, you know, almost trillion-dollar cost, but we don't know what the benefits are. There is no definition of what is going to be required as what they call the essential benefits plan. They've given broad outlines of what an essential benefit plan is, but they've not said how many days of coverage for this or how many hospital visits for that or how much prescription drugs or what your deductibles or copays or anything else are specifically going to be. All that is punted to a regulatory environment. Our lives are now going to be under the control of a regulatory environment, specifically the Secretary of Health and Human Services, where she's been given enormous power to structure uh, the details behind this uh, massive piece of legislation. One of the guidelines that we do have within the legislation, though, is it says that the maximum deductible for a small group, and this is where many of the uninsureds are today that are looking for cheaper products. And this is my mission. One of my major missions in in my life today is solving the uninsured problem, but with market-based solutions. The maximum deductible for a single person under this legislation is going to be $2,000. Now, under an HSA type of a design, you have the catastrophic insurance, but your maximum deductible could actually be just a little under $6,000, which gives you a cheaper product that protects your home, your family, your savings accounts, and then you can put the difference in that savings, if you wish, your choice, into a health savings account. And you could have the same coverage because under the legislation, another point that, again, without getting too far into the weeds here, the maximum out-of-pocket, the cost of your deductible and any co-insurance or co- um, uh, uh, co-insurance or co-pays is identical under the bill that has a requirement for a $2,000 deductible as opposed to the current $6,000 deductible, $5,950 actually, under an HSA. So if you go into a hospital, you're going to reach your maximum out-of-pocket limit. Now, what this legislation does by requiring a deductible of no more than $2,000, it says... I want you to pay the premium for a higher cost product. Right. Exactly. I don't want you to pay a lower premium and then put the savings into a, a savings account. So they're they're favoring premiums over savings. And we know that it's that savings element that helps change behaviors and has been lowering the cost and lowering the cost trends. So they have totally ignored the most fundamental feature that we found working in the real marketplace out there because people in Washington don't understand the real world and what's happening.